In this video, I'm going to show you the database Modern World History. So I'm going to start off with a basic search for World War II and press enter. And then it will come up with the information we have on the OPAC. But also I can go to OneSearch, down to Modern World History and click on that and it will open the database in a new tab for me. So this is Modern World History, which is an info base database. So the front page of the database has got a variety of things for us. So it's got some featured primary sources, maps and graphs, videos and slideshows, as well as featured people. On the side, we've got some topic centers, so regional areas, and we can also browse resources in particular. We can go down to topics, we can browse primary sources, certain maps and charts. So this can be a way that we can go to find information that is more specific or we can do a general search in the search bar at the top. So I'm searching for World War II, pressing enter, and then it will come up with information re uh, regarding World War II or my search term. So again, I can narrow my results to the following here, or I can also look through the top. So I've got some primary sources on offer for World War II, which I can scroll through and save. I've got images, videos, timelines, and news as well. So I'm going to have a look at the articles. I'm gonna scroll down and find one that seems suitable for my research needs. So I can read the first couple of sentences and decide whether or not it's suitable for me. So I might click on landmines and World War II. This might be an article that is suitable for my research. Once I've gone through the tags and decided, yep, this one's great. I can read the article. Um, if I want to save it, I can click on, um, I can either print to save. So I might do print with APA and then print. And it will open up for me here. And then I can just save it from print. So if I click, click on print and then click on this arrow and do save as PDF, I can then save that entire PDF into my folder with the rest of my research. I can also download. So if I click download, it will save as a PDF as well. To get the citation information for this one, I will click citation, make sure I've clicked APA, and then this is the citation information for this article. So I will just go ahead and copy and paste that into my reference list, and then that's my citation information good to go. Get out of that one, and then I can go back and then keep browsing through any uh, articles that I find that are interesting to me. I might open in a new tab so I can keep them all loading. And then once I've decided if I'd like them, again, download and get the citation information. That's how you use Modern World History.